Hi everybody and welcome to my weekly catch up. I've just had a massive coughing fit. <clears throat> I don't know what that was all about. It's not COVID. If you want to see what I've been up to this week, then keep on watching. Hi everyone. Hope you're all well. The light in here is a bit weird because one minute is sunny and the next it is belting down with rain. So apologies. I know I'm amazing but I can't control the weather. <laughs> I'm also very modest too. Anyway, I hope everybody's had a lovely week. I have had a super busy week this week and I apologise because I didn't get the crab stitch video tutorial up for Tuesday. So basically I worked Sunday and I was going to come home and fil film it after work on Sunday. I just didn't have the energy. I was so tired, I just didn't have the energy. And then I had to go to bed really early. <laughs> Honestly, I'm such a little old lady. Because I was on a long day Monday, so my long days are 14 and a half hours. So pretty long. Um, so I went to bed super early. And then Tuesday, my daughter came over with her baby lily and we just had such a nice little girly day me beth megan and lily and that baby just cracks me up she's hilarious she's so funny you know just newborn babies you can just watch them for hours because the corkers that they come out with as in their facial expressions oh it just proper tickled me proper tickled me like literally all day um and then i worked wednesday thursday friday yesterday i went to asda i nearly had a heart attack at the price of food <laughs> i do go shopping but i was like if you don't know we've got a cost of living crisis in this country and it is bad um like stewing beef i thought oh it's stew weather isn't it i'll make some stew seven pound fifty that went straight back um Megan, my youngest, is vegetarian, so I don't tend to eat a lot of meat anyway, but still I didn't get a lot of meat at all, and it still came to like 63 something. I was like, oh my god. Absolutely crazy. Um, do you like my jumper, by the way? It says, plants make me happy. I made this on my Cricut. I've got a Cricut, which is a vinyl cutter, which is my other thing. Um, Crochet-wise, I have just filmed the video for this crab stitch. You probably can't see it very well. It's so cute. It's going to be blurry, I bet. So I've just filmed the video for that. The lovely Sue, who I met a couple of years ago at Crochet Sanctuary, sent me a furls crochet hook. So I really wanted to try furls, but they are very expensive. And I couldn't kind of like justify the 20 odd pound for a crochet hook if I didn't like it. So Sue, she said, I messaged her and I said, oh, have you ever used furls? Cause I follow her on Instagram. I'll leave her link below. She's got some beautiful stuff. And she's like, yeah, and I've got a, um, one that I don't really use. So you can just have it. You can just pay for postage. So it's a J, which I think is a four millimeter. I presume it's four millimeter. I think I need to look it up. One of their crochet hooks. So I'm going to try it, but I'm not sure how I'm going to get on because they are very long and I tend to crochet like this. So we will see, that's why I want to try one first. And the other thing that I have been doing, and there is gonna be a video to it, do not panic, I have not fin forgotten to write up my blanket pattern. I've got news on that after this. So I am making a cardigan, but it's a no pattern cardigan, oh my God everything's fallen off my desk um and i am using james c brett i'll put a picture here i can't remember the shade because their shades are numbered i think it's a marble i've never used james c brett before and i actually really like it so it's a really simple cardigan and basically you work it in panels so two front panels one back panel two sleeves um and then you pop a sorry there's loads of noise because I'm down the bottom of my garden then you just pop a bordery type thing on it so you measure yourself round here round your bust and measure the length shoulder to where you want your cardi to go split the bust measurement in half and then one of those measurements split in half again 
to make the front panels. With my back panel, I added on 10 stitches because I am quite broad across my shoulders. I always have been, apparently it's, it's a thing in my family to have broad shoulders. Take that how you will. Um, so I have done one panel for the back. I have completed one panel for the front and I'm on my second panel and then you sew it together and you work the arms in the round. So I am going to film it, um, but if you want to get your measurements ready, I don't know when it'll be up, but yeah, just measure your bust and then split it in half and then half again for the two front panels and add 10 stitches on for the back. I haven't added anything on for the front because it's going to have the border, so that'll give it a little bit more room in the bust, in the front bust, front bust. Um, my blanket pattern, so I have two weeks off. I'm in for the rest of this week until Friday, and then I have two weeks annual leave, which is really ironic because I've been off for three and a half months, but in the UK, we still accrue annual leave when we're on sick, off on sick. So I had six and a half weeks to take, and our um, allowance runs from the 1st of April to the 31st of March. And usually they caught, they put it into quarters, so you have to take like 25% in the first quarter, etc, etc. I literally have taken no annual leave. Well, I have, because I get quite a lot of annual leave, because I get, because I work bank holidays, I get those as annual leave entitlement. So I had like six and a half weeks to take. So I messaged my ward manager and I was like, you can say no if you want, but can I just have the last two weeks of November off? Because I need to use my leave up and I've got tons of it to take before March and you can only carry five days over before when COVID was around. I mean, it still is around, but it's all changed. You could carry 10 days over, but now they've reverted back to how it was. You can only carry five days over. So I wanted to use it because I'll lose it otherwise and what's, you know. So during those two weeks, I am planning to do so much stuff. I am gonna write out the pattern for Sorry, my SD card was full because <laughs> I never delete anything. So I've got these two weeks off. So I'm planning on writing up the pattern for my blanket. I am going to, I really want to swap my website over from WordPress to Squarespace, but I'm really scared that I'm going to lose everything or <laughs> like my patterns on there. So I'm going to have a look at doing that. I also want to make something really exciting for Christmas as in that people can get as in people can buy for Christmas presents. And hopefully I will be able to do that on my two weeks off. And I wanna batch film a load of tutorials as well. So there's lots of exciting stuff coming in. Um, that's about it. That's really all I've done. I haven't, I haven't really read much this week. I'm still plowing on with the Atlas 6, but I don't really like it. Um, but I'm just, I'm one of those people that forces myself to finish a book, whether I like it or not, because I feel really guilty. And it wasn't even a library book either, I bought it. But I'm sure there's some people out there that I can pass it on to that would really like it. So, yeah, I'm just going to finish it. I'm not going to give up on it. I think I've only got about 80 pages to go. So I'm going to go to bed super early tonight and lie in bed and read that before I go to work tomorrow, before I'm up at 5am. Anyway, that is it for this week. I hope you have had a lovely week and... You're all doing really well. Um, if not, big hugs. I know what it's like to be in a rubbish place. So big hugs to anyone that is struggling. Um, and that is it. So I hope you have a lovely rest of the week. Take care. Happy crocheting and lots of love. <laughs>